What's going on everyone? It's Ethan with Second Life Gaming and we're going to be bringing you guys the XP farm tutorial right now and how to do it. We're going to be starting here on the PS4 menu because this is where you're going to need to start before you go into the game. The first thing you're going to be doing is going over to your settings tab. You're going to be scrolling down to your date and time, date and time settings, and you're going to set manually. From here you're going to go to Christmas. So go to 1228 or 1225 2018, enter, and then you can go ahead and back out. And then you're going to go down and start your game. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on your character that you're going to be playing, and you're going to go ahead and make a new adventure world. Now, if you already have the blue shards ready, just keep your world on normal. If you need to farm blue shards also you can go ahead and switch it to large. I already have all the blue shards done so I'm going to go ahead and keep it on normal and we're going to create the world and enter it. Here in a second Kevin is going to be joining me in my world and he is going to be the one that we are going to be leveling up. Now this is the easiest way to do this is with a level 30 or a high level meaning 25 plus you're going to get the most XP for that other person with this. There is a way to solo this. We will go over that in a second after we finish uh, figuring out the way to do it with how to level your friend up. But first, we're going to go ahead and find the next, the first portal, and I will get back to you when we have found it. All right, we found the first portal. So what are you going to do is go ahead and place your blue portal stones in. Once that's ready, you're going to go ahead and enter the blue portal. Alright, once we get here, we're going to go ahead and look for the Christmas portal. As you can see on my map right here, we have the festive portal active. So we're going to go ahead and find that real quick. And once we find that festive portal, oh, I already see it. don't even need to go out. Let's go check that out real quick. Once you get here, you're going to go ahead and place your blue portal stones and you're going to enter into the festive portal. Alright, once we get to the festive, this would be the Christmas event for the game. There's only two quests here and uh, the quests are involving killing enemies and bringing Santa's Christmas back to him. So what we're going to do is we're going to go get Santa's bag. It is always on this house. The map will change a little bit, but it will always be on this house. So find where this house is. We'll show you what it looks like. Here you're going to find this Times Square, and then this house will always have Santa's Christmas bag on it. So you're going to go ahead and grab that bag real quick, just for ease. And then you're going to go find where Santa is. And Santa is easy to find because he is, you'll see a very tall tower. You'll find a tall tower. Oh, there's the tower. Once we go over to that tower, we're going to turn in the Christmas bag real quick. Skip those guys, so I don't need them yet. Alright, once you get down here, you just go ahead and kill these enemies real fast. Once these guys are dead, talk to Santa. And you're going to give him back. We're going to be switching over as I do these quests. You guys are going to get to see Kevin's screen so you can see what it looks like, how many levels he's actually getting for completing these quests. We're going to go ahead and turn this quest in real quick. You get 98,000 experience for turning this quest in. And boom. Yay! 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 Now, as you can see, I just picked up a torn red hat. Now, these are what you're going to need for the next quest. The next quest is going to be the Grinch. So you're going to go out, and now the Grinch can spawn anywhere on the map. He's going to be in a little house anywhere on the map. We luckily have already found him pretty quickly. Kevin found him. 
but he can spawn what you see here, and there's also small islands that sometimes spawn around this main map, and he can also be on those. We're going to go ahead and run over to the Grinch real quick. And we're going to be talking to him. His name is Marley, but it's the Grinch. So what he's going to ask for is... I think it's 12. Let's see right here. Yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be 12 Torn Red Hats. Now, how you get the Torn Red Hats is literally just enemies on the map. So you just kill them, they drop the Torn Red Hats, you get 12 of them, you come here and turn it in, and as a level 30, you'll get 147,000 experience. Now, this experience also goes to the other player. So as a level 1, 147,000 experience is a lot of XP. We'll go ahead and complete that quest. Now, you guys just saw Kevin's level, and you see where he can get to now. Literally, all you're going to do from here is just return to the title screen. Hit play on again, pick the character you want, and then you just go to Adventure, and you're going to create a new universe, and rinse and repeat. Literally, all you got to do. Now, if you want to farm the red hats first, or you can check out our duplication video and get 10 or so red hats and then just duplicate them real quick, you can do that. If you have them farmed real quick, you can do that. You saw how fast I did that. That usually takes a level 1 character to about 16 or 17. Uh, after that, you just keep rinsing and repeat. This will take about 30 minutes to an hour to take a level 1 to a level 30, depending on how much you have farmed, if you were willing to do duplication or not. And after that, you have your level 30. Now, I said I was going to go over how to solo this, so we're going to do that real quick. What you would do is you would just grab your second controller, and you would go ahead and log in with your second controller. Now, you'll see both me and Kevin, if you've seen some of our videos where you see like his duplication video or this video for me, we both actually have a level 30 on a separate account, and that's kind of how we're doing the, uh, the solo glitch or not even a glitch, the XP farm method. So what you're going to be doing is, first thing you have to do is you have to level a character up on your second account. So you're going to be doing the same method, starting a world, and joining that world, and then you're going to be leveling up that second character the same way you would level up your friend, doing this method. And then once he's leveled up, you can now make a new character with your main account, and you can do the quests with your second account. Now that will level up your main account's characters. That's how we leveled up our main account. Second and third, fourth, whatever characters. So that's the way you can solo it. Now this method is not necessarily used for people that are starting the game out as a level one by themselves. Can you do this still? Of course you can. And it will it level you up technically faster than just going through the game. It will level up a lot faster than just going through the game. But it won't be as quick as you were seeing it right there. You're not going to go from 1 to 17 in one try because the fact that the XP is based off of your level. It's still a ton of XP for those two quests, even as a level 1 or 5. But you will need to level up, try and do the first couple islands, level up a little bit, and then go in there and do this farm if you're just starting out with one character and you have no friends to help you out that are up high level. That's going to be the end of this video. I am Ethan. This is Second Life Gaming, and thank you for watching.